Hey, Pastor Brett here. It's the Christmas season. It's time to be thinking about your 2019 goals, and I want to challenge you to set a goal in 2019 to read through the entire Bible. In this video, I want to share with you just a few tips on how to do that, or at least to help you do that. First of all, you need to choose a plan. That's right, choose a plan. Don't just start with Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and say, oh, I hope I can read through the whole thing this year. There are multitudes of plans out there available online if you'll just search for read through the Bible in one year plan. You'll find all kinds of options. The second thing you need to do is to choose a Bible version or a Bible translation, we call it. Don't just pick up any old Bible. Choose a translation strategically. Maybe you have a certain translation you love, or maybe there's a translation you've been wanting to read or, or get a feel for. You can start with that. The great thing about a printout version of a plan is that you can choose any translation, or you can switch transla translations, or day to day, you can just do whatever. You can choose the uh, New American Standard, or New King James Version, or the NIV, or the NLT. Just find a version that works for you. I have my preferred versions, and there's reasons why I prefer some translations over the other, but the main thing is just to absorb God's Word, to read the Bible. Now, my third tip for you is that you would get an accountability partner, someone who helps check on you and challenge you to stick with it. Maybe join up with someone and challenge each other to read through the Bible an entire year and keep up with each other. This particular year, 2018, my son and I read through the Bible together, so we had accountability with one another. Another tip, and this is really helpful, is that you find a regular time of the day, a regular place, if possible, to do your Bible reading. We're talking about establishing a routine, much like brushing your teeth and making your bed. It's just something you do every day. I recommend you do it first thing in the morning, if possible. If not, do it last thing before you go to bed, which is a little more challenging because sometimes you're really tired. But find the time each day. Don't just get up on January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd, and just say, hmm, some point today I gotta read my Bible. No, have it in your schedule it, calendar it, schedule it. Maybe put a reminder in your phone. But every single day, make it a part of your routine. My final tip is that you don't get too far behind. Unless you're extremely disciplined, you're probably gonna get a day or two behind at some point or the other. One of the keys is once you get a day behind is seek to not get too far behind. You double up the next day. Take the extra time. It takes about 15 minutes a day to read the Bible through in a year. Now, I've been behind as far as a week and caught back up. And what I did was I just added a little bit extra every day until I caught up. You can do that. So there you have it. Some tips on how to read through the Bible in one year. Also, as always, if you like this video, please click share if you're watching it on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.